Charlie Porter has been our barber for over 20 years. However, he is much more than that. He is a staple in the Reno community and has been for the last 15 years. His old shop was in Fernley, Nevada, and he still has customers from there drive up to Reno to get their hair cut. Went to high school at Reno High School. Got out of high school and went to UNR for a little bit, and I had to quit when my son was born. I've worked all my life. You know, I've worked on a lot of jobs, and I just kind of got tired of working for people, being on a regular job and getting looked over for a promotion. When a promotion would come up, it was my turn to get in that position and they would overlook me. So I got tired of doing, going through all of that. And I've always wanted to have my own business anyway. So I quit working and went into business for myself. Charlie is just one of millions of minorities affected by this problem. It has been a problem for a long time, and in Charlie's eyes, it hasn't gotten much better. Uh, well, I mean, to be honest, because I was black in Reno. And when I left that job and went to Barber College, man, I have never turned back. I have never said, oh, man, I wish I hadn't done this. No, I've never regretted, never regretted one day of my leaving that job and get my own shop, my own business. The only way I feel that we can remedy that is just to treat everybody right. Treat everybody equal, everybody right. There's none better than another. They don't feel like um, we have the knowledge or uh, the experience to do any other job than what we're there doing, you know? And they don't, just don't feel like we have it, so they don't uh, promote the uh, ethnic groups in these jobs, man. It's terrible. Well, Reno has grown so much, man. I've been here for 55 years, 53 years. 53 years, I came here when I was uh, 15. It's been a lot of fun. I've had my ups, I've had my downs, really. I tell you, I've had my downs, boy. What kind of downs? Well, going to jail, getting shot, yeah, I got shot by the Reno police here, right down the street. They shot me up six times. They said I was trying to steal something out of this building. This one cop had told me before that if he caught me out at night doing anything, he was gonna kill me. My gosh. But you know, I never thought I'd make it this far. So every morning when I get up, I thank God for what he has done for me and where he's brought me from and taken me to to right here today, you know, because he didn't have to do it. I didn't, man, I tell you that, and I got a lot of friends that didn't make it, they're dead now. God blessed me so that I could be here in this place. And there's a lot of people come through that door that tell me their life story sometimes, or they just tell me about their problems, and I talk to them, and, and when they leave, you know, they, they got a smile on their face and feeling much better, and they keep coming back, they keep coming back. You know, and, and I tell my wife that all the time. That's her picture right there. That's my wife. I tell my wife all the time about every incident that, you know, when people come in here. And I haven't had anybody come in here to get violent or try to rob me or any of that stuff. Because this is a blessed, this is a blessed shop. Charlie Porter has seen this city grow before his eyes. He has seen the ups and downs. He has also been affected by many of the problems not only in Reno, but the whole nation faces. I think it is about time we take Charlie's advice and just treat everybody equal.